this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, uh, back here on Quick Hits. Um, we're going to get into Devin Haney, what's next for the champ. Uh, he's going to have some options, and it really comes down to whether or not he can make 35. Um, my guess is he could not, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up. To date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, all right. Uh, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Guys, let's get into today's show. All right. Uh, Devin Haney, undisputed lightweight champ. There's still plenty of business to take care of 135. Um, and he's a promotional free agent. He has not re-signed with Top Rank. That is fake news from what I'm hearing. I will keep you up to date if I get any change, but from what I'm hearing, that is fake news. He has not re-signed anything with uh, Top Rank. Um, so he's a promotional free agent. Um, I, I think he should stay that way. I want to see what these pay-per-view numbers come in at. I think they'll come in at, you know, okay. I think they'll be around 400000 but I, I, you know, we'll report on that when it, when, when, when the time comes. Um, but I, I want to get into um, you know the options at it, at thirty five. You obviously have a, a bunch of names on all sides, right? And, and the two biggest names being Shakur Stevenson, right, and um, Tank Davis. Two absolutely incredibly intriguing fights. Two fights I don't think he can win, right? Tank Davis destroys him, and. Uh, you know, Shakur Stevenson is just better at everything that Devin Haney does than Devin Haney is. So Shakur Stevenson is outboxed him, outpoints him, and wins a decision. Um, you know, I do like Devin. He, he's shown to be a fighting champion. He's not afraid to take big fights. He's not afraid to put his own on the line. I, and I appreciate that in, in a young fighter. Um, so I root for Devin Haney. I'm just saying those two guys, he's not beating those two guys. Um, the other big thing is I don't think that he can keep making 35. I remember seeing him four years ago almost. At uh, Maurice Hooker versus uh, J.C. Ramirez unification fight in, in, in Dallas. And we're standing in the press conference, and he's standing next to Regis. I'm going to get back to that name. And um, he's bigger than Regis, clearly bigger than Regis. Regis won 40 at the time. Haney's 135. Bob Arum and, and, and who was there for Ramirez and Eddie Hearn both looked at each other and said, um, that's a welterweight. Right, that's a welterweight, and he, he does look like a welterweight. He's massively big. He's massively big, um, I, and that was four years ago. I was 20, 20 years old. Now he's twenty four. Right, that was the the, the day of the famous press conference. He's twenty years old. He's twenty. He's twenty years old. Right. Um, I don't think he can really make that weight anymore. He's too big for the weight class, which is not terrible news because he can go to one forty, and at one forty. The fight that I like for him is Regis Progre. He, like I said, Regis has been probably, maybe besides Lana, the most avoided man in boxing. I, I think Regis is one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. He just hasn't gotten a chance to prove it because no one will fight him. I thought he beat Josh Taylor. I was pretty convinced that he did. Um, and I, I thought he beat Taylor. And, and since then, all he's done is win. And then but he just hasn't gotten the big names to build his resume. He's 34, and he needs that fight. And I think Devin Haney offers that to him. You know, Devin Haney has worked with, with um, Eddie Hearn before. I think they have a good relationship. You know, he had to go over to top rank to get the Cambosis fight, the unification fight, which he did. Um, you know, I think he'll be back in some capacity with – Bob with 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 Eddie Hearn, um, and I I I think Reach is is a realistic shot. Is that's a real fight that we can get? Um, there are of course other names at one forty, Josh Taylor, 
on the top ranked side if he decides to stay there. But you know, he's most likely gone. The other name is Tiafimo Lopez. But after Tiafimo Lopez loses to Josh, uh, did I say Josh Kelly? Josh, Josh Kelly, I'll get out of the news on Josh Kelly to Josh Taylor. Um, You know, I, I don't think he's going to have the same gusto, right? Um, Sandra Martin, you know, I mean, you, you go to 140 and, and, and the names are, are, are Taylor, who's gone, you know, um, then you have the PBC guys, Puyo, who, you know, um, Ryan Garcia, I, I guess you could do that. I mean, that, that would be a big fight. I, I, I don't think Ryan Garcia is going to jump right into that and take two losses in a row. So I, I don't see Ryan taking that kind of fight. Um, I, I think Regis is the name. You know, I, I think Regis is the name we can get, right? And I, I think Re- Regis is open to fighting anyone. I, I think Devin Haney is. Um, so my guess would be Josh Taylor would be the, the first bet, but I bet Josh Taylor is going to leave that division and go to 47, so that's not going to happen. Then I would go down to Regis, and th- those were the names I would look at. And a regis pro grade Devin Haney fight would be – Fight for the hard cards. I mean, we could go back and forth and debate that all day. I, I have my thoughts on that, and I'm sure it's gonna. You know, you can ask ten people, and ten people are gonna break that fight down differently. Uh, but it, it is a heck of a fight, you know. Um, and I, I, I think that's realistically what we're looking at next for Devin Haney. Um, you look at the landscape of 140, and it, it, it just, you know, that, that lined up. Devin Haney's fighting. Devin Haney just fought, and Regis Progre is fighting in a couple weeks. An easier fight, you know. Do you, Gary Antoine Russell, Arnold Barbosa? Do you really want to see names like that? No, right. We, we want to see the Regis fight, and I, I think now we 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 might finally get it. Um, or we could get Ryan, but I really don't think Ryan's gonna take that big of a fight. Um, if Tio wins, which he's not gonna, that changes everything. But I don't see that happening. So let's just scratch that for now. Um, and, and, and we'll come back and revisit that if uh, T.O. Fimo does 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 win. Um, but he's not gonna. Um, but that's my that's my best guess right now. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you like that fight? Do you think it's gonna happen? Do you think some other fights gonna happen? What fight do you think is gonna happen next? Uh, please like your, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Rolly Ramiro. That's not going to happen. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it is uh, May 23rd, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.